A versatile way to measure and lock temperatures is useful for many DIY projects. I for one want to make sure that my LEDs up there don't get too hot, but I'm sure there are many more use cases. Of course, we could just sit here with a thermometer in one hand, stopwatch in the other and a pen and mouth, but having it properly plotted over time can be quite handy. This is what I came up with. The logger has dual sensors. The first one is a thermistor, a B3950 NTC, which can be securely attached to any surface. The second is a DHT22 in an AM2302 package, providing ambient temperature and relative humidity readings. An ESP8266 D1 mini dev board in sight controls measurements and communication with a Raspberry Pi Zero, which acts as a server running InfluxDB as a database and visualizing readings using Grafana. To display data locally, a seven segment display with a TM1637 controller is integrated. Our device is powered by a lithium cell scavenged from an evaporative device found on the street. If you're interested in this DIY 3.3 volt power bank circuit, I will link to a short up here and down below. As soon as 3.3 volts are supplied via this temporary connector, it starts measuring in 60 second intervals. In between measurements, the ESP inside will go to sleep to save power. Also, if the measured values are rather stable, only one in five measurements is uploaded since establishing the Wi-Fi connection draws a lot of power. Only if readings change rapidly, data is uploaded every time. In this configuration, the scavenged 360 milliamp hour cell lasted about 60 hours when measuring ambient conditions. If we press the button, measurements are taken right then and the values are displayed, beginning with ambient temperature, probe temperature, here both in degrees Celsius and relative humidity in percent. The displays colon is used as a decimal point because there isn't a single one. All measurements are sent to the Raspberry Pi. We can access them via Wi-Fi and see live how the values change. Here, for instance, we see a plot of how my LEDs above my workbench get hotter once turned on. This switch allows us to set the device to offline mode, in which it always shows its readings without any Wi-Fi or upload. Since we lack the full visualization of Grafana, it additionally shows us the min and max values, here shown as low and high. The Deep Sleep Persistent RTC memory fits 80 datasets. If we need data over a longer period or higher accuracy, we can always use online mode. If you have any more ideas what it could be useful for, let me know. I might make a short video showing off the uses I found for it and link to it uh, here.